Rob Collins is one of the hottest actors in Australia right now. Since appearing in the Clever Man series six years ago, he starred in heaps of TV shows and movies, won major awards, and has started to get cast in major Hollywood productions. But his newest role is in a series called Firebite, co-created and directed by legendary Kadich filmmaker Warwick Thornton. It's about when white fellas came to Australia, they didn't just bring convicts and grog. They brought vampires too. Firebite follows two indigenous vampires uh, that are the only thing that stand between their small community um, of Opal City and a uh, horde of vampires that are descending on the city. Does he ever take you down? No, we're not like down. I play Tyson Walker in the show, and Tyson is a train wreck in every sense. He doesn't look after himself. He's been in Opal City now in the middle of nowhere for many, many years. Uh, but the one thing he is, is a capable fighter um, and a really good um, vampire slayer. He's kind of a superhero of the story and every superhero needs a really great weapon and Tyson's was this big number seven boomerang. So it's the perfect instrument for killing vampires. And it was kind of like his, you know, his sidearm. So he'd carry it around. Um, it was a beautiful um, thing, actually, just to just to see and the weight of it, you know. So it was a it was a fair dinkum number seven boomerang, um, and that was his vampire killing tool. Along the way, um, he is being trained to be this class of vampire called blood hunters, who are loosely based on indigenous lawmen. And so he's being trained almost like a samurai to be this blood hunter character. And one night um, they come across a group of vampires that are attacking a family. There's a little girl that's been orphaned there. And he has this decision to make whether to pursue the life of a blood hunter, which has no attachments to family whatsoever, you're completely dedicated to that way of life, or to take this little girl and raise her, and he chooses the girl. You want to call it Australia Day? Well, we call it Invasion Day. My people lived happily, looked after the land. He's trying his best to be a father figure to her. Nah, we good. We good. Oh! He's hopeless at it, but he's got a lot of heart and, and charm about him. Um, she loves him, but she's oddly smarter than him and is the brains of the operation. They spend their days setting traps, checking traps, keeping the populations of vampires down. Being an action hero for the first time meant that Rob had to get super fit. In preparation for the role, it was highly physical, so there was a lot of working with the stunt team, uh, about three or four weeks of doing push-ups and sit-ups and all the things that I hate doing uh, to get fit for the role. We had some key sequences in the script that we had to choreograph with the other stunt actors. Some great action sequences in it. I've never been a part of a process like that. You know, as an actor, you, you see the examples um, overseas. So that was my little go at it. At first, Rob was a bit worried about being in a series about vampires. I'm a bit of a sook when it comes to scary stuff, like seriously. So I was worried about the blood and the gore and all that stuff. I have to say when we started filming, it's probably the most fun I've ever had on set. Part of that fun was getting to drive around in the hotted up hero car. My character drives a hotted up WRX that's been fitted out to cruise around the Cooper PD desert, basically. It's broken down to a certain degree, like my character. Uh, there's a lot that um, Warwick wanted to see in the vehicle that's kind of like Tyson. So it's capable, it does the job, but it's a, little, it's a little beaten up like Tyson is. Can't you just pull up like a normal person? Oh, hero's life, Neeks. I didn't choose it. Chose me. Rob also has a new big screen movie out called The Drover's Wife, 
the legend of Molly Johnson. The film uh, is about Molly's character, Molly Johnson, who is in the snowy mountain wilderness alone with her children. They need their mother. I love yous. Love you! and no husband, and you don't know kind of what's happened to him. At the same time, in the nearest town of Everton, there's been a murder, and the suspect is on the run, played by me, Gattaca. And he happens upon Molly at the shack. They form an uneasy alliance, and then they're put in a position where the truth has to come out, both about where the drover has gone and what Yarika is ultimately up to. Drovers was filmed near the Yayok River in the Snowy Mountains, country that I hadn't been to before. So really gorgeous country, nothing like the country we have up here. Snow-capped mountains, very cold, very high altitude. But that's one of the beauties of what I do is I get to go to these places that I ordinarily wouldn't go to, meet people I ordinarily wouldn't meet, um, see things that I ordinarily wouldn't see. Rob is starting to get big roles in Hollywood too. Recently I've had um, the good fortune of doing a couple of international gigs. I had a very small, small role in uh, Chris Hemsworth uh, action thriller on Netflix called Extraction. And uh, it, was, yeah, it was quite surreal to be part of the big Hollywood machine for the first time. So the only odd thing about it was we were pretending to be in Kananara and we were really in Thailand. It's kind of planted a seed of, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing more of it. Becoming an actor meant Rob had to not get shame about performing in front of other people. A is for Apple. That's for me, what really helped me here when I started out in Darwin with the shame job and you know, not wanting to do things that were embarrassing is that I surrounded myself with people who wanted to do the same things as well. So I think that's a good way to sort of actively, if you really want to work towards something, find other people that are really interested in what you like to do as well and hang out with them.